Yeah, Chris, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, one second. Connected to Oracle? Yes. Yeah, are you connected? Yeah. Okay. Yes. So we'll we'll continue with the lessons. Almost uh, we have done with the SQL lessons. Yeah. Okay. We got to know the Hello? We did insert update delete. We did a commit and the rollback. Yes. So not only tables. Today. What are the other objects we forgot and create? So what is the other database objects? So first I'm doing the last lesson on select with this Okay, so you're cutting cut, 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 no. So the basic relation structure is. No, you're cutting off. Hello. Yes. Uh, can you hear me now? Yes. Creating table. But okay. when, you, when you're talking, yes. you're cutting off. When, it's, when you say hello, I can hear you. But when you're talking the full sentence, it's like cutting off. Okay. It's like okay. Wait one second. We have something called as a synonym. What is a synonym? What is the meaning of a synonym? Uh, same, uh, same synonym. meaning. Same meaning, same as that, right? Synonym, similar, something yeah. similar. Uh, yeah. So we create an ob we create a synonym for an object in the database. So synonym is the database object. Okay. So how do we create a synonym? Who can create a synonym? One who has been given create synonym privilege can create a synonym? Yes. So how do we create a synonym? Create synonym, synonym name. Can you try creating a synonym? So here is a synonym yeah. by name stood. We are creating a synonym yeah. by name stood. S-T-U-D. For the student table. Let me know what's happening. Are you able to create a synonym? Yes. Create it? Yes. Yes. So this is a synonym for the student table. Whatever yes. you have in student table, you can see it via the synonym. It's the same object with two different names. Why do we need to create a synonym, by the way? To make a co complex object simple, an object has a very big complicated name. It is very difficult for us to remember and type it always. So we create a synonym. Okay. We give a simpler, we give a simpler name for the object. Yes. Now, select staff from stud. S C U D is a synonym for student table. You can yes. see everything in student table using the stud synonym. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Describe stud, insert into stud, update, delete, insert. Everything works in. Instead yeah. of using the name as student, you are using it as stud. Now, yeah. when the table when the table student is dropped, what about the synonym? What will happen for the synonym? When the table student is dropped, the synonym cannot be used anymore. Yes. It loses its validity. Yeah. That is it. Until then, we can use a synonym without any problem. Yeah. Then the original parent object is dropped. The synonym becomes invalid. 
for usage. Until then, we can be using the synonym. Yes. Yes. That's about a synonym. An object which is going to be an alias name for any database object. It is okay. going to be an alternate name for any database object. Why do we need it? If our original names are quite complicated, we would need a synonym. Okay. To hide the original name, we would need a synonym name. Yeah. One who has been given a privilege to create a synonym can create a synonym. Yeah. Okay. The next, the next object is a sequence. What do we mean by sequence? What is the meaning of sequence? Uh, uh, it's like one, two, three, four. That's yes. a sequence. Something yeah. in an order? Yeah. Yes, that's a sequence. So, when do we need a sequence in a database? We need a sequence. We need values to be in a sequential order for the primary key columns of the table. Mm, yes, yeah. Yes. So, what happens for a primary key column of the table? It accepts unique values from you. It accepts unique values from you, but you can in, in, you can give them in any order you want it. It yes. need not be in a sequence. You give yeah. one, you give five, you give hundred, it takes. It is never going to tell you, you have to enter it one after the other in a sequential way. So, mm -hmm. so what we can do, Oracle supports with an object called as a sequence, which okay. is a token generator, which is a token generator. The job of the sequence is to generate tokens. Okay. No, many tokens. Yeah. Okay, it's, it's like you can visualize it to be a, like a stack with multiple tokens. You can pull out tokens one by one from there? Yeah. So, what all is required to create a sequence? Okay, where are we going to start? We are going to grow in steps of what? Where are we going to stop? Are you getting? No. Uh, would, you, would, you, would you mind putting your microphone closed? Close, I guess I, I, I put Max on all you can hear you, sorry. Okay. A oh, sequence no. is an object in Oracle. Yeah, yeah, a sequence is an object in Oracle, which is a token generator. Yeah. Uh, the job token? of this object, What's it's a numeric generator? value generator. Okay. It's a numeric value generator. So yes, I assume it to be like a machine which gives you numeric tokens one by one, some cards one okay. by one. Okay. Okay. So we have to decide where are we going to start, how are we going to grow, and where are we going to stop. Okay. So for a sequence to be created, we need to know, okay, Se where are we going to sequence, start? What? Sequence for what? Like, oh, I don't know, like, what, for, for a table, for a column, or? Yes, for a column value in a table, for a column value in a table, we'll be making use of a sequence. Okay, so... There is, okay, let's just do like this. There's a primary key column in a table. Yeah. There is a primary key column in a table and users are entering data as in, as in how they wish they want it. Yes. There's, there's nothing in an order. There's no, no any order maintained. Okay. okay. So when we have a sequence, when we have a sequence created and when we call the sequence to give a token for that field, that field is always going to have values in an order. Yes. So we have to make, we have to create the sequence. We have to make use of the sequence to generate values for the key field of the table. Yes. So how do we create a sequence? This is how we create a sequence. Okay, sequence one. Okay, but yeah, okay. So create, okay, table. Okay. So create sequence, sequence one. So, so where where are we like where are we defining it which we'll table the which no, table no no we will use it later it is okay. not so it is not associated with any table okay. we are just creating it as an object and later we will uh, we will use it in a table okay yes okay you Easy. can use it wherever you want it yes yeah. sequence sequence name I mean the sequence uh, name of it right sequence one sequence is a name yes CQ one is a sequence name yeah. Create sequence, sequence name. SQ1 is the name of the sequence. Okay. But can I, can I type it now or? Yeah, please type it. Yeah, okay. Sequence 1. Start with 1.
values what should be the value getting in sequence name dot next val uh, create okay create table test so we are creating a table before the before yes, i have to make use of it yes i have to make use of the sequence somewhere and show you right how it's going to work yes yeah so but, but okay insert into test okay but we are creating a table create a table test that's a as the uh, and test id number id number 2 name default mind tree yes okay. there is a table with two columns one is a numeric column and the other one is a character column and yeah. for the character column we have set the default value as mind tree so okay. you need you need not pass the value for that we can yeah. ignore it not a problem okay, okay. so yeah. while inserting data so while inserting data insert into test sq1 for the id mm-hmm. field values what is that you are trying to insert you are calling the sequence so it is now the sequence gets now started the generator is started the generator's job is to generate one by one tokens and give you so what is the keyword in here insert into test sequence id next yes value. insert into test sq1 the name of the table this is the name of the table yeah. this is the name of the column id yeah. column this is values instead of giving 1 2 3 i am calling the sequence sq1 dot next val sq1 is the name of the sequence dot next val is a method you are calling okay. okay so next val so this is very uh, simple to uh, like uh, write down a small thing i mean small tables but how do you uh, what's example for the, like really big complicated uh, Uh, t- uh. Really big complicated table also. Chris, just visualize. It's yeah. a customer table. Why? Wow, where do you need a sequence in a customer table? Maybe generating customer IDs. So yeah. only for the primary key field you need a sequence. That's it, right? Yeah. Only to generate a value for the primary key field you need a sequence. Account number generator. There is a sequence. Yes. Product code generator. There is a sequence. Yes, yes. Just because you are doing it only because you wanted the columns to be having a value in an order. Yeah. You want the column to hold values in an order. You are going for a sequence. That's it. So if if ten people is and are entering with the ten ten different uh, uh, permissions, right? And then how can how can I like uh, for example everyone? I didn't get you. No. So for 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 example, like you know, tell you know when the, when this new table start was created. and then like 10 yes. for 10 different, different dbs or 10 different sql all parts want to enter enter the enter the data for like multiple hundreds hundreds of people at the same time right hundreds so hundreds of people would try to insert data so it will be called one by one it okay. so hundreds of people try to work at the same time also it yeah. will be processing one by one at a time that is how okay. database engine is programmed that okay. is called concurrency control so okay. is some online ticket booking so at the same time yeah. hundreds of users are booking a ticket but how they are yeah. not going to fight for the same seat how is it managed database engine yeah. is taking care of uh, this is called as concurrency control one at a time the other one will be waiting in the queue when the first one is done the second one is going to get processed so it's let's say so fast yeah yeah so fast it, it will be so fast that you will not even realize that you are waiting crash in real time production okay. environment yeah. you will not even realize that you are waiting okay. it will be so far one after the other yes So, uh, if someone has a press enter the enter at the same time, which one would? No, be? there will be some 
there will be a fraction of a second. There will be one millionth, one billionth second difference. Okay. There should there is some difference, right? When the request reaches the server, yeah. When the request hits the database, yes. Yeah. Yes. So that's exactly why I always like confuse. Like, and sometimes you know when you book online flight tickets, and everyone books at the same yes. time, and then which one pick, yes. which one gets picked up first? Yes, it's all in a queue. It's queue mechanism. Like that, first in, have, first out. I don't know. I don't know if you know Comic Con. Do you know Comic Con? Oh, what Comic-Con? is that? No, Comic Con is. Uh, what I, is that business? No, it's been. It's, it's Comic Con is something. Um, you know the superheroes. You know they are. They uh, they actually okay. have an organization. Comic Con, right? So they are. They are if, if 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 you go Google Comic Con, they will tell. Like, it's like you know when the, uh, all the people will come at the same time and and then uh, they introduce a new characters for for the uh, for the for the uh, cartoons, right? So mm-hmm. Comic Con is so famous. So so how it happened is you know it, it happened in San Diego. It happens in mm-hmm. the biggest Comic Con in the world. So they, mm-hmm. they 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 only have like like well, let's like hundred thousand tickets, not more than hundred thousand tickets, I guess. And then as soon as mm-hmm. it opens, it opens at twelve o'clock. To get okay. buy a ticket by twelve forty twelve twelve and forty five seconds and like a I minute mean, minute, everything is gone. Mm. Everything is gone, sold out. Okay. In one minute, so it did this hundred thousand tickets, right? One one to two minutes okay. max. Mm-hmm. Right. So how? So I'm just curious because from all over the world they try to book the ticket from mostly from Canada, US, and and, and Europe they book the, try to book the ticket, and then in two minutes hundred thousand tickets mm-hmm. are gone. Like you know, it's like I, I always mm-hmm. wonder how how does it work? You know, because how it's 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 like how can you how can you like sell in hundred thousand tickets in like sixty seconds or like one twenty seconds? Which one gets? Because first, it right? is that many number of users. So there is an application which is accessible yeah. first. First, there comes an application which is accessible by hundred thousand users. Okay. So, okay. At the same time, so many users are trying to access the application via the application. They are they are they are booking a ticket. So this is a transaction. Okay. And this transaction has to be recorded inside the database. Yeah. This is the database. So one by one, everybody hits. So within that span of time, everything is sold out. That's it. Okay. There is a change happening on the data. If first ticket is sold, assume that you had you had some hundred tickets. When the yes. first ticket is sold, the ticket on hand will be ninety nine. Immediately yes. when the second is sold, so they would have written some code for it, not in the database, in the application, to take care of this. When all the tickets are sold, the app won't open up at all. That's it. That's the uh, the app won't work. The okay. app won't open the uh, booking uh, ticket the booking uh, okay. page at all. Okay, just like maybe in Indian That's railways, it. right? Indian railways have same problem. Yes, too. of course. Yes, yeah. yeah, same problem. Yes, the Tatkal especially, they open just a few the day of the travel or day before the travel, 24 hours before the travel, they open the Tatkal booking. Not yeah. even hours, just 15 minutes. Not even that. Everything gets booked out. Yeah. Everything gets whatever seats they are blocked in all classes gets yeah. booked. Booked. Just booked, right? minutes. Yes, oh, just, yes, yes. Okay, okay. It's just but, the usage. It's oh. just the usage. I more than number of users. Yeah, more than yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. See, I remember when I used to. We had to go to uh, a, a ticket booking center to book a ticket for the, for for railways like ten years ago. Yes, 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 yes. Exactly. There were no that many users. The population was less. People used yeah. to take train to travel way less. Yeah. Okay, there were other means of trans. So everything is a challenge nowadays. Yeah. The number of users increased. And increased. Everything yeah. is a, data grew. Data is growing, growing, and growing like anything enormously in every business. In every business. In yeah. every business, yes, data is growing, and we can't uh, we can't ignore it also, and it plays a very vital role, especially yeah. when it comes to data science, business intelligence. Have yeah. you heard about it, Krish? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the insights what you can derive from data, okay. which is already there in your system. Oh, yeah, so so you take you, you take a pattern and then you 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 come up with something new new logic on it, right? Yes, so, exactly. Yeah. You okay. analyze the customer's behavior. Okay. You will have to get a pattern on on in which season the tickets are sold at the sold. earliest okay. Christmas, yeah. New Year, what Eve. So you will come to know. Okay, this is the peak time. So yeah. if even if I increase the price of my ticket, it will definitely get sold out. Gold you can yeah, do such yeah. things. Yeah. Yes, that's all about business. That's pretty much uh, fly. That's pretty much flight tickets, right? So, uh, yes, yeah. yes, yes, mm-hmm. exactly. They, 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 yes. 
they have they have the, they have the peak peak times and when they have peak times they, they increase the price and when there's like non peak times they decrease you know they cut down the price yeah. on it yeah okay, so yeah i remember like you know like but train yeah is the train travel still cheaper in india or it's getting expensive uh, yeah no 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 it is it is cheaper only uh, but it is uh, at a high demand it is at a high demand high it's demand. not that cheaper also yes yeah. it is at a very high demand these days flights uh, flight fares have come down actually domestic flights have come down come they've down, cut down yeah. their price drastically yes 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 and you have this no book before 45 days 90 days you get it at a very low price okay you, you can just uh, you can just fly for the thousands of rupees, just the three thousand, four thousand rupees for Bangalore to Delhi, Bangalore to Hyderabad. It's two thousand bucks. That's it. Oh, Bangalore wow. to Chennai. It's like Madras. the yes, same sir. price as yes. uh, uh, second class or first class, third class uh, AC combined uh, compartment, right? Yes, yes, exactly. Uh, uh, you have such bullet trains also now in India. Uh, we have this uh, Shatabdi one train. We have a double decker train, Bangalore to Chennai especially. Oh, wow. Is it's, it a double decker train? Like a Yes, yes, we do have. Only one we have. From Bangalore to Chennai, we have. Uh, that's a really peak uh, 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 route, right, isn't it? It's a, peak, it's a really mm -hmm. high demand route. Yes, yes, it's uh, really at a high demand. Trains are always at a, especially these uh, weekends, long weekends, long weekend, holidays. Yeah. <laughs> yes, holidays. You cannot even, though you have a ticket, it is so challenging to get onto the train at the right time. Right okay. time. It will be so crowded. It will be so crowded. Yeah. Man. So you, for you to you, make you, a. Your fam, does your family live in Bangalore or like did they? Yeah, yeah. Okay, everyone lives in Bangalore. Yeah, so you live in Bangalore. Yeah, everyone have, lives don't in, don't in Bangalore. Only. You don't have to go anywhere then. No, no. I go. I usually go to Chennai. Uh, 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 I travel. I go to Chennai quite often because uh, my relatives are here. But most of them are here in Bangalore. Bangalore. Okay, so you don't have to go anywhere. That's good. Yes, okay. we have Thank you. we have people in Hyderabad also. <laughs> wow. Okay. Mm. Okay. So, so, got, so how yeah. do we like how do we like increase the values? Like, like I I I I. Yes, we're to... not using it. We have not yet used it. We have you no. used it? Have you done this insert into table name? Yes, yes, I did. Yeah. Yes. So. Hello? Yes, I, yeah. So yeah, I, yeah. I, I got like I got like one one ID with my name, my entry. So if, if you want to increase the value, you just need to. You don't. So so for you think that if uh, if, if you put like this, you don't have to say you don't have to say any more primary key. You don't have to insert any more primary key number uh, values in it, right? Uh, it will automatically be unique, right? It will okay. automatically be unique. Okay. 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 You be inserting. Have you inserted? A, you created the table, right? Yes, I did. Uh, you insert the rows into the table. How do we insert? Like this, using the sequence? Yeah, the sequence. We are yeah. calling the sequence and press. Yes. That's the one. Yes. Hello? Yeah. So, yeah. yes, yes, yes. So you keep inserting. After some time, you you will get an error. You just be giving slash slash and slash continuously. Records get inserted one after the other. Yeah. After you have reached out ten records, you will get an error. Because the maximum value you had is ten. Yes. 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 The maximum value for the sequence we have set it as ten. So what can we do now? Again, alter the sequence, change the value, max value to no max value. Yes. So, so for example, if, if I want to insert in, in the next time without without uh, so okay, so in in, in any time I want to insert in, insert the uh, the data into that column, I have to say value sequence one dot next twelve. If you say so, it will be in an order. Without that, also you can directly insert values. Without that, also you can insert. It will take a column will take value whenever you insert, however you insert. It is nowhere bound to the sequence. So, so it my thing. Is, so, so I, if, you know, if I give the value name as like hundred now, if I give the value uh, sequence name as nine after one, can it will, will it accept? Like how? Does... You cannot give a value for the sequence, but you can give a value for the ID column. Yes, yeah, that's what I said. Like so, so. So you think that I can I can do this I can do either this I can do either that like anything is fine. Yes. 
Yeah, anything is fine. It takes it takes both of them also. Okay. So Don't when I say, when I say when I say eight now, and then and the next when I when I create an, when I insert next after nine, and I say yes. and I say a values next sequence what next tell it will go to nine. After eight it will go to nine automatically. Do you okay. Like, that is eight. How did eight come out? How so how because, did eight come there? Because because I, I I tried to insert a data into the col into that column uh, by putting okay. my own value okay. at eight. Wait, wait. No, no, no. Your own, your own values cannot be recognized by the sequence. Cannot no, I'm be not saying, no, I'm not saying sequence. My, I'm trying. Uh, in, without, without sequence, I, ins, I insert the test yes. data into the uh, data into the table uh, without no sequence, without no values and things. I just, I just, I just said like you know, uh, uh, ID. Four, five, six, seven, eight. You have inserted. Yes. No, I, yeah, I, I insert the sequence. No, I inserted the one and and then I inserted seven after. Not, I don't insert two to seven, two to six. Can I say? Can I do that? Okay. Like, so you inserted one, you inserted seven. Yourself, yeah. you did that. Yeah. So you call the sequence. Yeah. Yep, now I call the, the sequence. sequence give? If it's the first time you're calling the sequence on the table, sequence will give you one. No, because I, I call one before, I call sequence before, and then I added a data after, and then I'm calling sequence okay. again. Then it will give you two now. This time it will give you two, because oh. one you had called already. Oh. Okay. This time it will give you two. Not, not okay. after, when not it after comes seven. To... Okay. Not after seven. Okay. So let's say if, 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 I, if, I, if I insert the data until like seven, and until six, and then oh. I insert, I insert the, insert the uh, sequence again, it, what will it do? It will go to eight after six. Sequ no, no, sequence will never know. So you'll have, you, then you'll have two primary keys then, right? Two, two, two any keys for the, uh, yeah, unique. I'm talking after after six, right? I uh, there's already yes. seven there, right? I I put seven before, and then six after six. So I said, no. Okay, wait, wait, wait. After six, you had put seven, and now if you call sequence to give a token, it will give you seven only. Sequence will not know that you have put seven on your own, but, so it will not it's, give you eight. It will give you seven only. Let's see if it's a primary key. How does it work? It will not work. It will give you error. Sequence oh, okay. will give you seven, but this seven cannot go and sit because seven is already there in the table, and that's yes. a primary key column, and you'll be getting an error. Okay, so sequence doesn't know what what we inserted before or what's what's in the table exactly. right now. Exactly, okay. exactly, Chris. Sequence doesn't know anything about the table, who is calling it, where you're calling it, what is its job. Its job is to generate the next token and give. It's a token generator. It keeps generating tokens. As and when you call, it will be generating tokens. Not okay. only for this table, you can call it wherever you want. Whenever you call, a token is out. That's the job of a sequence, right? Okay. Token is something. Okay, when you drop the sequence. When you say token is confusing. So, token, token is. One second. Token is yeah. just a value. Okay, just a value, yeah. In, in this sense, it's just a numeric value, nothing else. Hello? 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 Yeah. Sequence? Yeah. Yeah, Chris. Yeah. See, so, it's just a, in, in this sense, it's just a numeric value, nothing else. Yes. It's just a numeric value, nothing else other than that. Okay. Exactly. Okay. okay. And it will not know what is there in the table. It is not, it will not know who is calling, where you are calling. Okay. Drop yeah. sequence. Sequence name is going to drop the sequence. Sequence is no, no more there. Yes. No yeah. more there. But what, yeah. ab what about the tokens which came out from it? They are all fine. Oh, they are all saved, right? When they want, they want to save, they're saved. Yeah, saved. yeah. They are all saved. Yeah. Yes, they are all saved. No, no challenges for that. They are all saved. But going further, you cannot use it. That's it. Okay. So can I see a drop, drop on the, okay. I don't see it. Yeah, drop the is, drop sequence. No, no, I have not done it. Okay, okay. Let's start from yes, drop okay. sequence, sequence. Yes. Yeah. What is sequence name dot curval? C U R V A L. Curval. C U R V A L. Select sequence name dot curval. This uh, is going to tell you what is the current value. Oh, current value from Joel. What? Okay. Yes. Yes, current value. What was the latest value which came out from the sequence? Okay, so the sequence will not go back. It always goes, goes, you know, it's a descending. Yes, descending yes. Order. Okay. As an emo, we can go back also. How? You say start with the 10. 
you say start with 10. 10 and okay. then go. Then value 0. Yeah, yeah, increment by minus 1. You say increment by minus 1. So yeah. from 10, if you go by minus 1, yeah. it will take you back. Yeah, it does, yeah. And can we can we can alter the uh, we can alter the uh, sequence right uh, in the max value. Yes, you can. Yeah. Okay. Just alter sequence sequence one max value is equal to like you know we can put thousand right. Is that how it works or? No, you can put max value to anything. You can alter no, and say max value to anything. Yes, no, you can no, say no, no max this. value. No, the the command is like something like alter sequence sequence one. Uh, max value yes. is like is equal to like is equal to something. No equal to, uh, no okay. equal to. Simply max value space hundred, max okay. value space thousand. That's it. Oh, okay. So that's the thing. So how do you like? It's confusing for me. Like when I'm practicing, it's like, how do you, when you, when do you say equal to and when do you say no equal to? Like you know, just like you know, when you say different. It doesn't that, it make, make more it, sense. Doesn't it make more sense no, if I say no, not equal to? No, no, to. equal to something you will say when you want to assign a value to something. If there is a variable, you want to assign a value to the variable, you will say equal to. Okay. See, this is all just part of the syntax. However, however Oracle has given the syntax, I am speaking the same, same language. That's it. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah. So you you got an idea what a sequence is? A yeah. sequence is a numeric value generator. We we ideally use them to get values in an order for a column of a table. So yeah. we would have sequences. We would have sequences as token generators, usually yeah. for the primary key columns of the table. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's about a sequence. Then we have another of next object called as a view. What okay. is a view? What is your thought on a view? Views. They are very view. important. They are, view yeah, views. A view is what? Yes. Something we, I don't know, like a describing describe a table, like viewing the table from. A view is, yes, a view is something what you see. Yeah, what you see. View yeah. is what you see. What you see. So your viewpoint, your view about the course is different. Your somebody else's view about the course is some totally different. So yeah. each one will have their own viewpoints. Each one will have their own perception. So what is the view in the database world? Very, very important. See, in real time, you will have master tables with huge number of columns, huge volume of data. Yeah. You will have tables with 40, 40, 50 columns. You will have tables with the millions of rows. But mm -hmm. is all this required to be seen by our developers or other, other group of users? There is an admin group. There is a HR group. Okay, why should admin group see all the details of the employee? There should be certain things which is which cannot be shown to any every anyone, right? Yeah. There are few things which cannot be shown to everyone. So it's so like permission. It's, like, it's, like, it's like permissions. Yeah, it's like you don't have permissions. It is unauthorized. So how can I show you show somebody your credit card details? That's very dangerous, right? Yes. Credit card details. So it has to be hidden. So how do we hide? How do we hide? So we hide important data which is present in the table by creating a view on the table. Yeah. So what like, is like, a view? Uh, you, mean, you, mean, you mean like you something who, who something like junior D, junior DBS? Like they don't want you, you don't want to want them to see yes, any data, yes, right? Yes, okay. Okay. Yes. And also let us take the example of business users. Some business users need some dashboards. They want some consolidated results. Will they be wasting so much of time in doing so many queries? You remember, Chris, we wrote John, we wrote some yeah. queries. Yes. Will they be doing so much in depth? No, they will not. For them, things should be ready at their fingertips. Click off a button, they should get a report. Yes. Getting my point. Mm -hmm. So how are we going to cater to this group of users? So we, we may have to write, a blog, write the complex code and save this complex query permanently in the database. You mean share? Okay. Save, 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 save. Yeah, okay. save it, keep it, uh, yeah, keep it in the data, like a dashboard or okay. a scorecard, yes. like a dashboard or a scorecard, okay, yes. so what happens, whenever you need to know the summary data, you look at the dashboard, so what is view, view is an object, view is an object, which, which hides, okay, which hides, okay, sensitive data, Okay, certain rows and columns are hidden via a view. Yeah. It is, it is, 
it is virtual it is just a presentation it is not physical it is virtual or logical so what it is it is just a select statement saved a select query saved in the database mm -hmm. it is just a select query saved in the database okay how do you say in the database? Is it like a separate notepad for you can save it? Just no, like no, no. Database in the sense, it, it sits on the table. It sits as metadata. You remember? RDBMS, data about data is called metadata. Metadata is also sitting inside the database in the form of tables. Okay. But how, like, so you, you're saying that you, you, you are saying that if some business people come and want to get some data, they don't have to, like, call the DBS every time. So you're saying that there should be a query. No, they, are, they may not have, yes, they may not need, not even read the query. For them, it is not even re write that complex query. There is a complex yes. joint query, a four table joint. Okay. okay. If I ask you to write, I am in trouble because you may do mistakes writing that query. Yes. So what, I, what do we do? We can save this query permanently in the database by making it as a view. Okay, I'll show you how to create a view. View is just a select statement. View is what we see. It is virtual. It is not physical. It is just a presentation. It okay. is just a presentation. Who can create a view? One who has been given permission to create a view can create a view. Create or replace a view. View name. So I'll say EMP VW is the name of the view. As select a star from EMP. We are getting everything from employee table. From the from, via the view, we are trying to see everything in the employee table. So what is that we are hiding here? Nothing. I'm sorry. Create a replace view. Yeah. EMP VW. As uh, select staff from EMP. So I'm I'm trying to see everything of EMP table via this view. Okay. okay. I'm trying to see everything of EMP table via this view. Now I have a group of admin people. For the group of admins, I have to show only the salesmen and not others. Okay. For the group of admin users, I need to show the details of only salesmen and not analysts or clerks or managers. So we can create a view to show only the details of salesmen yeah. from employee table yeah. and we can work on that view. Are you understanding? That exactly is the purpose of a view. Based on what you need to see, what you need to work on, only that part of the data is shown to you via the view, right? Via yeah. a view, only that part of the data is shown to which you are privileged to work on. Okay, so there's like three things here I want. Like, you know, one thing is, I understand what you're trying to say, but how does how does the clerk can just see that data because does he have a front-end application that you know when you when you when you when you select something you only can see this data and then the rest of the data will be like empty no no that the person who is working on this data will never even know that it's a view see you and me know that there is something called as view in oracle we can create view we can hide the actual data via the view but what about the next group of people who is working on the application for them they don't even know that it's a table or a view they click a button, they get to see some data, their job is done, they move ahead. Yes. My question, yeah, 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 I totally understand, right? So, but how does that people can only see if, how, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just in my, in my head, do they go to the database and then check or do they, do they have like in the front end application? No, they no, only... no, 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 now assume, now assume I am a DBA, I am a DBA, I am a database uh, uh, developer, I do things at the back end. Yeah. Now, who are you? You are a front-end developer. You don't yeah. work directly at the back-end. You yeah. work via some Java application. You are connected to the database, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what all I do on the database, you may not have permission to do. Okay. Which all data I see from the tables, you may not have permission to see that. Okay. What will happen? I will be creating a set of views. To, for you to see some uh, monthly report, I will create a view. So for you to see some monthly sales, I'll create a view. For you to see some, uh, what to say, employee expenses, I'll create a view. These are three views created, and I will be giving read permission on this view to you. Yes. For you, it is select star from EMP underscore salary underscore details. You'll only put this.
select staff from EMP salary details. You will not even know that EMP salary details is a view. For you, it's like an object. You okay. query that, you get the output, you go ahead. But how is this created? How is this EMP salary view uh, details created? EMP salary details would be a view which is created by writing a joint query on four tables. Right, Krish? Yeah. Okay. Such a complex query is made as part of the views definition. Okay. So, for the next group of people, it is so simple. Select star from something. That's all. Yeah. They get the output, they see what they want, they go ahead with their, their own work. But who has made their job easy? The back-end group of people have made their job easy by creating views on complex queries, by creating views on complex tables, hiding sensitive rows and columns of the table. Yeah. Got it? So that yeah. is the purpose of a view. And yeah. one more thing, whenever we create a view, Whenever we created, I have created a view. What is yeah. the name of the view? EMP VW. Now let me work on the view. Let me work on the view. So what, okay. what's a replace? What do you say? Create a replace. Why, why replace? For the first time, right? We are seeing replace. We never created or replaced the table. We only created a table. View has this option. If there is an object with the same name, its definition will be overwritten with this new definition. Okay. Yeah. You already, if you already have, have an object with this name, it will be replaced with whatever you are going to do now. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now create or replace view, view name. Okay. Now let's select the view. Select star from the view name. Select star from view name. What is the name of the view? EMP VW. Yes. Query the Yes, I'm doing it. Select star. Yeah, I got all the 14 rows and everything. Yes, it looks like employee table only. You don't even know that it's a view. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you can do whatever you want on this view. You can insert a row into this. You can update. You can delete. You can do whatever you want. So all this is going to be happening on the main table. Yes. So, okay. So, whatever you do on the view, it is via the view on the main table. So, so now we have like two tables now? No, or no, no. It's one? only one table. It's only one table. The other one is just the presentation of the so, data in from that table. Okay. I want, can I actually uh, ask you to like show me like how does, how does the view actually work? Like for example, uh, uh, see, we have a view. We are accessing the view. Now we will yeah. we'll try to delete something from the view, we will try to update something in the view. Everything happens on the base table? Everything happens on the base table, yes. Okay, so such a view which allows changes to happen on the base table yeah. is called as a simple view. Okay. A okay. view which does not allow insert, update, delete. So you know, you think that just just a mirror of the base table. I mean, exactly, just it is just a mirror of the base table. It is not even a mirror. You just project the data from the base table via via a frame or via a window. So view okay. is just a window. Getting exactly. So you think just okay, a window. okay, window, right? So my question is. If a front end developer comes to back and then say and, and and just and you 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 when we don't want him to see everything, right? So he has to. So the, if he see, if he says like star from EMP, what does it come out as? No, if he says select star from EMP, he is going to look at employee data. If he says select star from EMP VW, then it is going to be from the view. Oh, okay, so okay, he does, so you think that he doesn't have access to EMP then? You only have access to EMP. He doesn't, have, oh, he doesn't have access to EMP at all. He don't even know that there is something called as EMP. For him, okay. the only object is EMP VW. For that reason, only we create view, right? Security okay, okay. is the main purpose of creating view. Okay. okay Chris, understood yeah. now? You got an yeah. idea? So yeah, yeah, you yeah. have a group of clerks. You have a group of clerks in the team. Why should yeah. clerks look at every data of everybody? They want to. They should be given access to only look at some part of data, not everything. Okay, yeah. 
So how do you give only that part of data to them? We give only that part of data to them by creating a view on the master table. The table, yeah. So you're and saying that uh, any, any any alter you do on the MP table, VW will not even will not affect the MP table. No, no, no. Any changes you do on the view, these yeah. changes are going to affect the table only. These changes are going to be on the table only. Not, not the Why base table. The view, yeah, it is going to be on the base table only. Base table, okay. It is via, yes, it is via the view you are making changes on the base table. It's via the view you are making changes on the base, base table. Base, okay. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It is via the view you are making changes on the base table. Now, there are certain scenarios. Most of the time there are scenarios in real time where views are not simple. You cannot do insert, update, delete on the view. So, they are called as complex views. They are called as complex views. Okay. Let me show you a complex view. I showed you how to create a view, how to access the view. Anything you want you can do on this view because this is a simple view. Whatever we have created here is a simple view. Simple view. We can insert. I'll just write it here. We can insert. Okay. We can insert, update, delete rows. Delete rows. Okay. From the view. All this is going to happen on the, this would, this would reflect on the base table. Okay. This is a simple view. Why is this simple? The query is so select star from EMP. That's it. It's a direct query and they are reading all the columns of the table. That is why it is a simple, simple view. Now what is a complex view? Now let us understand a complex view. I write a query like this. Create or replace view. Okay. View name. What is the name of the view? Okay course underscore VW some name as select what all you wanted course ID course name comma course fee plus thousand from the table code this is a complex view why is this view a complex view what is the query of the view select course ID course name course fee plus thousand from the table okay course table is having three columns you are reading all the three columns from the course table. But, 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 what are we doing? We are having a calculated field here. We are having a derived field in the view. Such a column is not there in the table. Chris, are you hearing? Yes, yes I am hearing. I am just like one. So, okay. yeah. Yes, there is no column. There is a column course fees. But there is no column course fees plus 100 in the base table. Yeah. So, whenever you insert a row into this, it cannot go and sit in the base table because this is not the actual data. This is the derived data. Yes. What will the person know when he is inserting? He don't know anything, right? He simply looks, it, looks at it. For him, it looks like a three-column structure. For uh -huh. him, it looks like a three-column structure. He just yeah. puts a record into it. He'll be wondering he is not getting the output. Okay, he is, the insert is not succeeding. Definitely yes. it will be an error. In real time, in real time, most of the views we have are all complex views. In real time, most of the views we have are all complex views. We cannot do insert, update, delete on these complex views. Okay. You understood why a view becomes complex? Okay. Whenever there is any function called, whenever there is any function, function called, like upper, lower, else, remarkable, sum, min, max, in the query of the view, the view is complex. Yes. Whenever the view is based on a joint query, you read columns from two tables and you create a view. The yeah. view is based on a joint query, so the yeah. view becomes complex. So what we can do on a complex view, we can only read from a complex view. We can only put a select statement. We can only, we can only read read from a complex view. We cannot do anything else on a complex view. Understood, Chris? Okay. But, but, okay. Select star from course underscore VW. It's the name of the view. You are reading from the view. You created a view. 
but unfortunately the definition of the view has made the view a complex view now if you try to insert into this view okay uh, the data cannot go on sitting sit in the base table you will get an error okay so all you can do is like okay and then what's the point i guess like in a, so it's exactly the same table so you're not you can't do any changes right yes you cannot do any changes okay what now what is the point now what is the advantage of having a view okay so performance wise internally database engine wise there is no any benefit of having a view but from the user point of view there are lots of benefits what are benefits if I, you need not write the complex join query at all what i have done i have written all the complex join queries for each join query i have written i have created a view so what will you do now you will only simply say select start from the view name you get the data you get the output okay the complexity of the query is reduced by creating views data is secured by creating views you only show what you are supposed to see okay you don't show everything so in real time if at all we have a view we will have then as only complex views getting okay okay so you are cricket you watch cricket you watch yeah. cricket okay okay whenever there is a ball thrown whenever there is a uh, what to say a run made immediately yeah. the dashboard gets updated right the dashboard yes. gets yeah. updated now what right. is this dashboard this dashboard is a summary data summary of everything yes so what's happening in real time is something like what is getting into the table whenever you want to have the summary okay you you access the view the view will give you the summary data yeah yeah so so my question is so you saying that okay hold on uh, so the one you did you just highlighted here this yeah. is a create a replace code view or re create a replace view co uh, uh that's the uh, view name as select course id course name course please press them from course okay so would that save though like it won't save to the base table right it's, it just sits in the uh, background but doing nothing just like is that what yes, you're trying it to is, say, right? it's this definition yeah this definition sits at the background doing nothing of course whenever you try to access the view whenever you try to access view at that time this query is going to get executed you're going to get the output of this query only under this name okay okay i got it. okay yes you got to know so every yeah. five minutes you want the summary so yeah. whenever you want the summary you don't go to write the query again and again it's written yeah. once and kept already ready yes you only go to access it you get the summary data okay. can you visualize now your yeah. dashboard your yeah, dashboard yeah. is a view yeah. okay so any summary data you wanted you can have a view created what yeah. is the advantage you need not write the complex code again and again you write it once you can be accessing it whenever you want it yes first thing is complexity of the code second yeah. thing is check your data hide something yeah. hide something from other users yeah yeah correct a, you understand yeah. yeah just a second i just want to just okay uh from course course so how how does it how does how does okay my so one of the question i have like how does uh, so how, for a developer right so for like a front end developer he comes back and back end and then so he doesn't know anything about uh, a a course there's a table called course yes He don't know anything about the table called course. Okay. You have already given him a view. He is working on the view. Okay. But when he is working on the view, actually the changes are happening on the table only. Okay. He will not know. He will assume that it's happening on the view only. Yes. It is. So view is a window. Via that window, you actually work on the base objects. Okay. So how do you how do you select all the uh, how do you if you if okay i have one question if how do how do i how do i uh, how do i uh, see all the tables what i have in my schema is there is there a command select for select tab from tab select tab, tab from tab tab yeah, tab list the sequence of tab yes tab 
What's the tab? The tab is the uh, tab is a synonym. Yeah, tab is a synonym for all the objects. Yeah. Okay. Let's press view. Cool. See what you want to see. You'll you'll have seven tables. Yes. Yeah, you'll have seven right. to eight tables. You have a synonym. You have two views. See what you want to see. From. Can I, okay, this one's not getting executed. They must name an expression of the column alias, Ali, okay? okay? I'll just try to like put copy and paste here. It's not, the, the thing is, you, you said it's not working, maybe I did something wrong. Can I paste it, please? Yeah, please, please, please. Yeah, I said that. Okay, create or replace view, view name as, select course ID, comma, course name, comma, Course fees. Is that your column name or fees yes, yeah, that's is your column, column that's name? Yes, that's my column name. C O U R S C A P E. Yes. 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 Plus thousand from course. Yes, this should be fine. This no. should be fine. Create or replace you. Describe course. Describe okay, yeah, your table okay, course. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I did actually. Then, okay, I'll just, I'll just. Okay, hold on a second. I'll just try. Okay, hold on. Uh, describe. Okay, so I say this and then, oh, no, oh yeah. How can I? Okay, how can I, okay, see you are a C, right? And then I'm gonna, gonna say E, D on it, and then it won't, it, this won't, I can't see the uh, describe codes, uh, 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 the name, oh, how do you say the table? I can't, I can't copy and paste the table. No, why you need to copy and paste the table? Okay, uh, okay, read out what you get. So, okay, when I said describe course, it's like name, CID, not null, right? And then uh, C name, not null. Okay. okay. And then course V, C O U R S E F E E S. Okay. Then it's fine, right? Create or replace view, view name as select. Course ID, comma course name, comma course fees plus thousand from course. Yes, what error you're getting while you're creating the? Oh, view? okay. So the error I'm getting is uh, error at line Just one. Just paste it at your prompt. Okay. Paste it at your prompt. Do a semicolon and enter. Paste it in my prompt. Paste it at your okay. SQL prompt. Do a semicolon and enter. Semicolon and enter. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. I I I don't understand what you're trying to say. Like I I I can't like uh. So. No no you you wait wait wait. What I said was you have your prompt right. You have SQL prompt. Yeah. Okay. Paste it here. You paste it here. Paste the code here. Whatever you gave me, you paste it here. How do I paste it? Like e. E D. I want right, to say E D. Oh. Okay. When you say E D, what's opening up? Uh, the E D opens up. Yeah. Opens up the now the you have this ED. Okay, now ED, I'm going to do this. I'm going to create the view for you. Create oh. or replace view, view name, course underscore VW as select course ID, course name, course fees according to you plus thousand from table course. Yes. Yes, that's it. Yeah. Save this, close it, close it, go to your SQL prompt, give a slash. Close it and give a slash, that's it. Oh, okay, I need to, okay. Okay, go, replace, view, course, uh, course, yes, CID, yeah, C name. Course fees plus. Okay, so I I put some. Uh, shouldn't be there no space between after the comma then maybe. Doesn't matter. No, nothing like that. Not that doesn't matter. I say save, right? I say save. Yes, yeah, save, uh, close it. Semicolon. Come back to your prompt. Yeah. No, don't do semicolon here. Don't do semicolon here. 
just close it. Yeah. Save close it. it. Save it. And it will anyway be there above. Just do a slash. Slash, yeah. Okay. Enter. Enter. Yeah. I tried. Yeah. Backslash, right? Yes. Yeah. This is, uh, must name this expression with the column alias. Okay. This expression. This expression. This one. Whatever we are doing, you know, C plus thousand. You just give a name as uh, new C key. Yes, that's it. It needs a column alias. Uh, what's that? Column alias name. Display name for the column. We cannot show this column like course fees plus thousand because it's part of the view, right? It is very transparent and everybody would come to know it is okay. fees plus thousand. Okay, that's where uh, that's the error then. Yes, that's the error. Okay, okay. So new course fees. Yes. So new is the command. No, no, no. New course fees is the column alias name. You can okay, give okay, it any yeah. name. Okay. So select here new please view okay, select course ID course and course fees as, as, as new fees. Okay, so when I say describe uh if I say describe course BW Okay, so select star from sorry. Course U R C V W. Okay, new course fees. Okay, now I got. Now I have got it. Create a replace view course again. Yeah, select C I D name. Course please press other. So the no, I, I understand the I understand the whole command, and now I can understand it. But it's so hard to like uh, uh, to remember. Like you know, when I, when I'm actually like doing practice, it's like how do you replace course V as yes, select course fees plus thousand and new course fees? Hello? 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 Hello?
Hello. You could create the view. Hello. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I can create the view now. The difference between a simple view and a complex view. Why? First oh. of all, understand why do we need a view? You want to. Yes. You need a view to show something to group of people based yes. on what they're authorized to see. That is it. Yes. So okay. if we will have, if we have an application with around 20, 30 tables, definitely we will have 10 to 15 views in that application. Okay, so no, in real time, these are read only objects. We only put a select on it and we go ahead. That's it. We only put a select on it and go ahead. So we can't we alter, we can't, we, we can't alter, we can't delete, no, we can't no, rename, no. nothing, right? No, okay. Yes, okay. If you have, if you can do all this on the view, you can be directly doing it on the table. Then why should I give you a view? Making okay. Sense? Yes, yes, yes. Then I can directly give you a table, right? There is some yeah. purpose behind giving you a view so that I hide a certain thing from you. Then okay. it is only select what you can do on the view. Okay. okay? Gotcha. Yes. Yes. So that's about views. That's yeah. about views and the other database objects. So we have completed all the SQL lessons. We spent a lot of time doing selects, all the lessons on select. Yeah. We know how to create a relational structure table. We know yeah. how to apply constraints, primary key, unique, not null. We know yeah. insert, update, delete, merge. We know how to do a commit, the rollback. We know what is the use of commit, rollback. And yeah. also we work on the other objects in the database, like. Hello, like. Hello. Hello. Hello? 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 